Most people think the giant squid is the largest squid in the ocean, but it's not. The colossal squid is. My dream mission is to try to get the first ever footage of a colossal squid live. The first step will be to go to where the squid are. So we need to head to the Southern Ocean. This is where the ocean explorer is going to be invaluable. Where we're heading are some of the most tumultuous, difficult to navigate waters in the world. Some of the storms and the waves you get down there are <laughs> impassable for our other vessels. We know from the giant squid that they tend to hang out in deep canyons where it goes from shallow waters very quickly into deep waters. So there's a device called the EK-80 on the Ocean Explorer that has a couple of settings. One of them helps us to map the bathymetry. That's the layout of the seafloor. So that's how we can start to figure out where these big deep water canyons are. The other key is we need to start finding productive waters. Areas where we have lots of fish in the water and the surface, and then the deep canyons below us, that's probably going to be the perfect conditions to find a colossal squid. We have another secret weapon that we can use to try to track these down, and that's sperm whales. Now, sperm whales are one of the biggest predators of giant squid and colossal squid. We often see the scars on sperm whales of giant squid and colossal squid attacks. There have been sperm whales seen at the surface that still have tentacles of giant squid still attached to them, where those teeth on their suction cups are still embedded into the flesh. We know where they're hunting and where they're looking. That can provide us some crucial information as to where these animals are to be found. But the first point is we need to find the sperm whales. Well, luckily, on the Ocean Explorer, we have a fantastic hydrophone setup as well that we can use to listen for the clicks, the sounds that sperm whales make. We might not be able to see that exact moment when a sperm whale finds and eats a colossal squid, but we'll start to figure out where the sperm whales are looking. Once we've figured out that location, we're going to have to try to bring the squid to us. What we found with the giant squid is what they seem to be most attracted to is lights. In the deep sea, below around 200 to 500 meters in most of the world's oceans, light doesn't penetrate that far, so it's perpetual darkness. But almost all the animals that live below that zone create their own light. Now there's a species of jellyfish that has a distress signal when it's being attacked by something else and it has this pinwheel pattern. Because that's a distress signal, the squid are actually probably coming in to attack whatever is attacking the jellyfish. We can actually use an optical lure or an e-jelly, something that imitates the bioluminescent display of a jellyfish, and that's what we used to get the footage of the giant squid in the Gulf of Mexico. Then, once you've got the colossal squid in, feeding on the bait you provided or attacking, the key is getting as many cameras in the water as possible. One of the big questions for colossal squid and giant squid is are they active predators or are they ambush predators? If they're active predators, are they cruising around non-stop trying to find food? Or B, are they just sitting there floating, doing absolutely nothing, waiting for that one moment where food comes by and then bam. The only way we'll be able to answer that question is through tagging them in some way, shape or form. There have been myths and legends for millennia, but we know almost nothing about them. We don't know if they're threatened, we don't know if they're thriving, we don't know if in a hundred years time they might not exist anymore. We might have pushed them into extinction. Now, opening that first door to understanding where they are and how we can study them can start to provide us information to determine whether we need to protect them. Because I think these are charismatic, engaging, important species that we need to be preserving.